possibly go wrong? Come Nothing. on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. It's really so sweet. It's the last time. Life, it begins. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, Chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being. An entity. Well done. Right. I get. All right, so. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. All right, we're going to go with security. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and okay. gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Right. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, All I mean. Right. But... Like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well done. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing, your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Alright, so. Just a minute, I gotta do something real quick. I already looked this up. I don't get the electric working. We got mission complete. Give me the money, money, money. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Okay. Alright, we're gonna start this mission. Storm defense. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various Still facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Mm. I'm gonna need you to extract. 
Good. Your first expedition team is out. Yeah. They'll bring back expedition. what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Let's see now, I need to go into research over here. Okay, let's go to research. Your researchers. job is simple, really. Go Create dinosaurs, buildings. which attract visitors to your facilities. Right there. Brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, Ooh, nature and commerce. See? Oh, right Simple. Alright, we need to get this one for electrical fences for the raptors. Once we get them. to do some landscaping here. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, that's that. Let's do some landscaping. Wrong thing. I'll have to get it. Alright, so. I started this. Now I gotta get, like, something in here for the guess. Mm, emergency bunker or a, a fast food. I'm gonna go fast food. Cause why not? Alright, that's to get some extra money once people start coming. The team wanna return. Alright, so this should have another thing. There we go. Ooh, you should what's extract this? genomes from fossils that have been Slider. collected inside sure, your fossil not? center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. It's over here. Uh, nothing good over here. Alright. Now we got... We should have people starting to come in to see all of our animals. Alright, let's see what kind of DNA now we do need. I oh, need these three. Got it. Alright, go here, here, back over here. I'll send them on for a meat eater. Oh, right there. Connosaurus. Sending team. These right here, I know what they are from the past, me playing this game. These are the raptors. I will be getting them before this video is over. Well, live stream, I guess. Um, once those are done, uh, quality, all right, once those are done, all right, that's going up, I don't want to incubate any more of those, um, go back in here, see what we're doing, all right, this is going up a lot, all might as well max them out while I can, uh, I just got this game today, and, um, I am already knowing what I have to do. Alright, wait. Did I get my dictum back yet? No. Two minutes still. Two minutes still to go. Um, expeditions, blah blah blah. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's go into power. Let's get a sub machine. Set it out over here. I'm gonna have to throw on this a little bit. You ain't gonna have to. Now we should have power for when I get something over here. Which I'm thinking of putting a hotel here and a, uh, what is it called? The ASU uh, Dr. Dua. thing over there. This ASU is our new Center Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. All right, we'll go for this one next after they're back.
All right, they're back. Let's send them out on that. Let's see what we got. Saw that. Start. Start. Start on those, and we'll be soon. Oh, research complete for that. Let's go and get that fence done. We got the fence now. We got the electrical fence. Go into upgrades. No, I don't want upgrades. Um, medical treatment. No, we're here. This would be helpful. Okay, new dino. New dino. Start on that. We got a new dino. Let's break the meat eaters. Come on now. Uh, first, let's get the ACU in here. Center in here. Let's get the ACU center in here first. Research on that is complete. Right, yeah. We're gonna run a fence straight down the middle. Oh, whoops. Alright, now we got that. That's being built. We can... Oh, how expensive are they? Ooh, that's a lot of money, but... We need it if we want to keep going on. Hey, do we have any got people here yet? They just came back. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Dino, real quick, and transport it in there. Oh, that missed. Terribly bad. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Alright, he's down. Sleepy, a sleepy baba. This time, a ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back, and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Or in a group. Ah, uh, dang it. You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Nice job. I feel like we are starting to understand one another. Oh, look at that plane there. The entire middle. There is no middle to that helicopter. Alright. We got that. We can release that. Transport mission completed. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Alrighty, dighty. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Oh, who doesn't know? Together, we what? can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. Who doesn't know what that, that is? Or that. Genome. 
and I think like, you are up to the challenge. The book. Don't disappoint. Right, he's in there. Now I'm gonna have to send you guys back out on a mission. Send you guys back out on that one. Delivery complete. Alright guys, oh, I'm gonna have to put some feeders in with this guy because he does not have any food. I'm gonna do non-live, we'll just go non-live for him. I feel like live animals just like... Live animals, I just feel like they don't... They just don't like get eaten as much as these got as much as this does. All right, um, jump back in my helicopter. And away we go. All right, yeah. All right, we got him feeders now. Yes, we do. Can I get this anywhere? Nope, we're out of money, that's why. I've received an offer that will definitely help the science division and can help you as well. well that's always just great, we're out of money. <laughs> I don't think he needs two of these. We can get rid of one of them for some extra money. A little extra money. And do we even have people walking our streets yet? Oh, we do. All right. We have people buying stuff. All right. Um. Guess that's it for now. Don't have any money, so I can't do anything. See you guys next time on our Hutch's channel.